Good evening, I'm Ian White. A man's died and a woman was seriously injured after a roof collapsed into the bedroom of a house in Bradford. Emergency services were called to a property in the Great Horton area early this morning. A family from a neighbouring property, including three children, were taken out of their house unhurt. Peter McNerney reports. The emergency services were called to this property on Knight's Fold in Bradford just after five o'clock this morning. There had been reports of a partial roof collapse. When they arrived, they found a man and a woman inside the property. Both had suffered serious injuries. The woman was taken to hospital with her injuries now described as non-life-threatening. However, the man had died at the scene. One neighbour described what he saw. We heard a big loud bang, like an, it sounded like an explosion more than all. Um, me and my partner came out to have a look and we noticed, obviously, one at neighbours' houses, roofs collapsed, fire crew and everything did the best in that lot. Um, apart from that, they were lovely neighbours, you know, quite unpleasant, it's not a nice thing to happen, you know. They were quite quiet people, kept themselves to themselves. Um, but yeah, it's a tragedy to everyone, you know, it's a big shock to everybody around here. In a statement this afternoon, the police in Bradford say this has clearly been a tragic incident in which a man has lost his life and a woman has received some serious injuries. Work is ongoing to make the building safe and we are in the early stages of a full investigation with the local authority to determine exactly how this fatal incident took place. Peter McNerney, BBC Look North. An illegal rave has been broken up by police who were pelted with missiles in Huddersfield overnight. West Yorkshire police say 300 people were moved away after they were called out to Deaton by locals who'd complained about the gathering and the noise. The news comes as the government warns organisers of illegal gatherings that they'll be fined up to £10,000 from Friday in time for the bank holiday weekend. Yorkshire-based broadband company Plusnet says it's seen unprecedented demand on services in the past few months. The average internet user spent 30 minutes more online at the height of the pandemic lockdown. So have our habits been changed for the long run? Tom Ingle reports from Sheffield. Getting wired up. Vicky finishes off an installation for Mike. He's switching suppliers and loves his broadband. Even my mum, who's 90, is now on the internet. Uh, in fact, I, I bought her one of these portal devices and we have video conferencing every day. Uh, it's been absolutely vital. Um, I was self-isolating for three months and so I had to buy everything in. And I had to search for supplies who could deliver because a lot of the major supermarkets were all booked up. Lockdown has been a very busy time for Vicky, with people switching, upgrading, or even getting online for the very first time. During the COVID, we couldn't go in, so sometimes it was a bit disappointing for them because we could only work externally. It's a very, very mixture, to be honest. We are seeing quite a few elderly people now taking it up. Um, so we go through the process with them, we set them up, we show them a little bit of basics, what they can do. So they're really happy. Just as the coronation was for television, has the pandemic been a pivotal moment for the internet? Ofcom figures show in September 2018, the average adult was online for 3 hours and 11 minutes a day. A year later, that had increased slightly to 3 hours and 29 minutes. But six months on from that, in the middle of lockdown, it had moved up to 4 hours and 2 minutes. Internet provider Plusnet is based in Sheffield. We've seen more demand uh, for people to be connected than ever before. 50% of people said they've learned something new. 40% of them say that they'll carry on new digital skills like online banking or cons consultations with GPs over, over the internet. Uh, and 70% of people also said they've used fitness technology. Mike might not be joining an online workout soon, but he's now using local suppliers who have also changed their internet game. It's fantastic how many local suppliers in Sheffield turned themselves around and got to sort of uh, deliver. And I had delivery from all manner of uh, small suppliers, including the local brewery. <laughs> Job done. Vicky's off to the next task. A key worker, but not in an NHS uniform. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North, Sheffield. Some sport now and in cricket, Yorkshire's match against Lancashire has been hit by rain once again today. There has been some play though on day two of their match in the Bob Willis Trophy. Yorkshire made a shaky start but have recovered a little bit and have moved on to 178 for six in their first innings. Adam Lythe is the top scorer so far on 86 not out. That's the news in the sport. Let's have a look at the weather prospects now and join Abby Dewhurst. 
Hello there, good evening. Well, our weather's looking quite autumnal next week. It's just a week early. We're going to start uh, the new working week on a largely dry note, but still the risk of a couple of showers through Tuesday and Wednesday, though it will turn wet and windy. Overnight tonight, we've still got a few showers moving through, and a couple of them in the early hours could be quite heavy. We're going to see temperatures dropping to around 9 or 10 Celsius. 10 is 15 Fahrenheit. So as we start the day tomorrow, then there will be some cloud and there will still be the legacy of those showers from the overnight period. But as you can see, heading through to the afternoon, we're going to see some sunny spells develop and it will become largely dry. Temperatures about 18 or 19 Celsius, so a little bit cooler as we start the week, then wet and unseasonably windy on Tuesday. Thanks, Abby. And that's all from us for the moment. I will be back with our next Bulletin from North and that's at 20 past 10 this evening. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. For now, bye-bye.